Welcome back, you guys. This is Desintra, continuing my EU4 Common Universalis campaign as Tunis. And I've been sort of sitting here and just looking at the map, checking out some modifiers, seeing where everything is. And I also read in the comments of the last video that I did that I should take a look at the triggered modifiers, because usually it's only like the holy cities and stuff like that. But this mod has really filled in all of the juicy stuff in here. So if I were to just sort of go through this, East Indian trade routes, uh, have discovered Cape of Good Hope, have quest for the new world. Okay, so this would give us trade efficiency. I think this is actually a thing in the Pace game. This is the custodian, custodian of the holy cities. That's just uh, Mecca and Medina. Okay, Jihad. Any known country have the modified crusade is at war with Tunis. Okay. Um, so if somebody declares war, if somebody is in a crusade, so if a Catholic is on crusade, they have the modifier that they are on crusade. And they're at war with me. I get a jihad against them back, which gives me. Oh, wow. Commercial tax, morale of armies, national manpower, yearly prestige, aggressive expansion impact. That's really nice. And here this is the, uh, the states. We started out as a medium state. So it's minor, medium, large, and huge. Okay. So own less than 12 cities, currently 22. Own at least 12 cities. Own at least 30 cities. So if you can get to 30 cities, you can get up to a large state. And there appear to be... Um, well, if you just start at the top there, state maintenance and global settler increase. State maintenance is less. So we have to pay more for the maintenance of the state. The global settler increase also drops, and we get something called government maintenance as well in the middle there. Okay, so it's going to be more expensive the bigger you are. That kind of makes sense. Core creation cost goes down, so it's cheaper to core, but I'm not coring anything. I'm not spending admin on coring, so... I don't know. Leader spawn rate is the same. So that's, I think, the military and... That's the generals and admirals spawn rate. Okay, that's interesting. Idea costs uh, get a penalty by five. Reduce inflation cost goes down. It's it's ten percent here and then it's five percent here. So it's more expensive to reduce inflation. Yearly corruption goes up, I imagine. Yeah, it does. Yeah, more corruption. Aggressive expansion impact is more impactful. So we get five percent extra aggressive expansion. Years of separatism is actually better. It's minus two here. It's uh, minus one. So that's good. And then we get an extra state. So, the bigger you are, the more things you have to maintain. That's interesting. And then there's huge state, and what is continental power. Oh, it's more than just huge state. So, this is, if I have it, the 60. This is 120. World power? Wow. We get missionaries and merchants? Oh, god damn. Oh, that is awesome. So we have to get to 250 cities to get the, the last one here. That is awesome. Merchant fleet. Have maritime ideas. Have more or equal light ships than 30. And we get just a merchant. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. Maritime ideas are usually just garbage. But getting an extra merchant. And there's another one here. Have maritime ideas and naval ideas. Well, that's kind of pushing it, and having 60 lights. Uh, okay, well, it's something to consider if I want to do a heavy merchant trade-based game. You kind of want to go for this, then. Actually, let me check this. So we have, yeah, merchant. Maritime and naval are both diplomatic. So we have, meh, ooh, yeah, trade power, light, sh light ship. That's usually galley combatability. So they changed that. Merchant Marines. Ship cost, that's good. Ship cost basically also means the maintenance is also cheaper. You gotta remember that. Ship cost. You know. Global ship repair. Sailor maintenance is good, I suppose. That's me. 
Maneuver is always good. Maneuver is the like a very valuable trait for a uh, admiral. Naval engagement, so we can be wider in combat. And can ships can repair when in coastal sea zones. So we don't have to dock them. We can just repair while we're on a coastal tile, okay? Naval is shock, capture ship. There's the galley. Oh, I'm confusing these two then. Uh, okay. Naval fire rate, ship durability. Is this supposed to be quality ideas? They moved one of these... Oh, that, they're moving things around. A ship durability. This one used to be here, I think. Interesting. So they move things around. So if I want to make a decision when it comes to ideas, I'm going to really have to read through all of this. Okay. Heavy shit, that's the same. I, th I think I said heavy shit. Oops. Um, naval force limit modifier 40%. Holy shit. That is... That is pretty good. 40% extra ships. That's a 40% modifier on how many ships you're allowed to have. That is ridiculous. Grand Navy. Well, duh. Fucking hell. Morale of our... Morale of Navy is 15%. So I'm thinking naval ideas are ridiculously powerful. And maritime ideas are mostly just for the cost. Like making things cheaper there, okay? I'm gonna go back to this. We might spend some time reading this. Uh, one own province have a university so just by having a single university I get idea cost reduction that's good uh, two own provinces have a university own less than 25 cities oh so if I have less than 25 cities I need two universities if I have Less than 50 cities, but more than 25. I need to have four universities. Ah, okay. So this one scales depending on how large my uh, state is. That makes sense. And I think this is the same, except... Yeah, it's even more universities. And yeah, this is the same. It's all universities. So if I have less than 100 cities, but more than 50... I need 18 universities for this last one here. I remember universities being like ridiculously pricey here. Where's the... Yeah, 860 ducats. Wow! That is like 15,000 ducats all in all for 18 of those. Damn! Probably more. Uh, ruling the waves. Uh, naval ideas. Heavy ships. Light ships. Have more heavy ships, light ships, and galleys than any other country in the world. So this forces you to have galleys as well. You have to have more galleys than the Ottomans. That's kind of demanding a lot from you. High mercantilism. So having 33% mercantilism gives us a merchant. Yeah, but it does give us a lot of corruption as well. But getting another merchant just for having mercantilism? Okay. And at 66%, we get merchants. Okay, so we can have a lot of merchants in this. Extra colonial capacity. Uh, have a dock, have a dry dock. Uh, maritime ideas, naval ideas. It's, it's very demanding, I gotta say. Okay. Commercial tax efficiency is basically just depending on my admin tech okay why would they have that here okay so as my admin tech goes up I get more tax income that's that's great that's kind of cool manpower recovery well this one keeps changing on me uh, militarization ratio is below 10% so once we get above 10% this will change to something better than I imagine and there's nothing here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I gotta clear my throat again. Give me a second here. Okay, so I tried to click the mute button twice there. That was weird. Never mind. So, if we can get manpower above 80%. That would means we get rid of this penalty to development. Okay, so if we can get more manpower, 
above 80%, then we don't get the penalty to this. But I remember having this at 99%. Yeah, 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 yeah. chill out. I remember having this at 99% and I got plus development time. Alright, so governance efficiency. Uh-huh. It can go up to 170? Really? It's at, it's at 90 at the moment. Or no, it's at 110. I don't get it. Why, why is this 90 out of 170? Oh, right. Governance occupancy is less than 90, is at least 80. Okay, so it keeps going... Uh, occupancy. Governance occupancy. Uh, oh, so that's different. Governance occupancy. I need to learn what that is eventually. And then we have this one here. Price index is based on my inflation. Um, so if it's between 105 and 110, it stays here. But I'm guessing it gets worse as time goes on. Inflation impact. If it's between negative 0.5. Oh, inflation rate. That, uh, that means how much it's rising. So if we have inflation going down, we get positive things here. Okay, so we kind of... It's currently positive, I think. What is my inflation going up right now? 0. 0.02. So... What? Uh-huh. If we can get it negative... If we can get it to negative 0.5, we would get a lot of good stuff here. So I spent a lot of time checking that out, but essentially I'm going to have to see check that out instead of going through this thing here and reading all of this shit. So it saves time, I suppose, and it looks a bit better like this, and also explains a bit more. So yeah, I'm glad I uh, checked that out. But back to my game here. We were going to go ahead and eat up uh, Mzab and Jared over here. They're allied together, and Fazan, we might just may turn into a vassal. He might accept that soon. Let's actually, before we declare this war, let's get an alliance with uh, you. Uh-huh. And they might decide to join us later, at least. You guys are going here, right, 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 right. And we're gaining corruption. Hmm, we should not be gaining corruption. We should have that neutral at the very least. Okay. Corruption is bad, no matter what. Okay, Toker Separatist. Inflation impact. Um, oh, so inflation is dropping? Mm, I don't get it. It's, it's rising by less than 0.05, I'm guessing. So because it's rising slowly, we're getting this. Maybe. Uh, Separatists in Orson, yeah. We'll, we'll spend the military points trying to core that. Inflation rate is between negative 10. It's not. <laughs> it's not, though. It's, it's at positive 0.02. Uh, okay. Normalization of relations between Malaki and the Jafari. Uh, Jafari relations with Maliki will become ambivalent. Who the fuck are those people? They're not my estates. Malaki. They're not my cultures. Who are they? I have no idea. But let's just try to focus on this war and see if we can grow a bit here. Oh, there we go. Urgla is ours. Thank you. So we could convert this soonish. It's, yeah. Cultural acceptance is stopping us from converting this. It's so bad. It's actually minus 4% stopping us from converting this. Damn. It's at base value 5 and it's still negative. I could turn... Oh no, I have to get all of this to get a state. We'll just wait with converting that. We're, I think we're still converting Jawari over here? Yes, no, we're still converting Jerba. It's not getting converted. 
Why are you not getting converted? Cultural acceptance. Manpower unrest. Unrest affects that? Ignored unrest. Oh shit, when did I click that? So in three years this will go away and then we can probably start converting them back. Whoops! Temporary insanity of monarch. <laughs> Whoops! So we can lose prestige and money. We can gain army tradition, navy tradition, or admin. I think I'll just take the admin. Yeah, it's fine. Since I'm getting generals for free, why exactly do I want the tradition then? I'm getting these guys for free. It's giving us morale of armies, but barely. Uh, tech cost, leader spawn rate. Uh, we can maybe drill and get that up, right? We get uh, army tradition by drilling. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. So once the war is over, we can do some drilling and get that uh, up, I suppose. Alright, so the plan is to go to war with both of these guys at the same time and just sort of dive into them. And we took a lot of land from Clemson. And we will... You know... Take some more from them later? I could always release Tafield over here once I grab the rest of this, and then we can declare war on Morocco. But I don't want, like, this Iberian shit over here coming across. I, I would like to take Ceuta from uh, Portugal. And I'd rather it belong to Morocco than Portugal. I don't want them to come across here. They want a royal marriage? That's fine. Do we have another leader for you? I can give you my own ruler. Okay. Declare war. Oh, no CB. We have a CB. Yeah, here. And we'll call belligerent you. Declare war. You guys just dive in right away. And we wait one day and go. Oh, they're gonna escape. No, no, no. They stopped. They actually stopped and they're gonna get killed. But these guys are gonna escape. Okay, that's uh, that's a bit annoying. Uh, okay, we'll have to chase them down. I don't want them to siege anything and uh, get us some devastation, I suppose. Okay, that's not a stack wipe. I'm gonna leave behind the calf to just siege down this province and you guys just go ahead and stack wipe them. Okay, you're running towards a fort. You can't escape. Uh, Takia. Uh, the religion in Tatooine changes to Shia. No, I don't want to convert some more stuff. We lose prestige. Okay, that's not good. Uh, Ulima gained loyalty. And Jerba area gets more unrest. Well, if I can get them to fire, if I can just get these rebels to fire, then we can crush them and then the unrest will go to zero. So we'll just piss them off some more. But it says their local missionary strength goes up. So can we still convert this then? Yeah, we can, barely. <laughs> Point 0.1. Point 0.1%. One okay, he's actually going for my fort, for whatever reason. You, you know you're stuck here, you can't really go anywhere. Okay, you guys can go ahead and take Lagot. Uh-huh. Wait, what? You didn't kill them? I'll leave one guy behind here. Where are they going? To... Togurt. You know, I do want to siege this down. You don't have a siege pip. Well... Both of you get over here. How is he moving? Separatist in Biska, we will pay the points. Okay, stop here, please. Uh, this is annoying. Uh, you know what? Let's let's try to wipe out at least one of the armies here. We'll, we'll, we'll keep chasing this guy down. Governance efficiency change to 105, I imagine. Uh huh. You can check that over here, right? Yeah, 105. That is very, very convenient. Uh, get in here so we can stack wipe this. Thank you. Oh, oh, you're moving to what? Hotna? Okay, we'll move down. We are gonna wipe you out. You are building a dude over here, aren't you? Yeah, an arch archer. Okay. 
We will chase after you. They're going to Biskra. That's a stack wipe. And where is this guy going? He's going here. Alright, so... I'll let this guy chase him down, and we will just sort of take this with you, I suppose. Yes. Before this guy gets another dude built... Oh, he's coming down. What is he doing? I'm seizing your territory, man. He's moving to Gadames. He's going down here. He's trying to seize his back, is he? Or... I have no idea what he's doing. He's just running around like a headless chicken. We occupied Lagot. Lagoat? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go ahead and... Are you fleeing to my vassal's territory? Okay, you're seizing down... I don't know what he's doing. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he do this? I just sat sit on Gafsa for me. I'm gonna go ahead and chase this guy down. We'll go to speed 4 while we chase down this idiot. He actually managed to seize my stuff down. I don't like that. You bastard. Okay. So, stack wipe. The siege of Mazab is actually over. Nice. And you guys can move off. Let's see here. We're gonna get there on the 6th. Okay, you guys go here. You guys go here. And we declared this on Jared, so we can piece out Mazab separately. Give me this, give me this. Oh, really? Alright, we'll wait. Times of need. We can get help from Fizan. I think I'll just gain the prestige by saying no. It's fine. So you're out of troops, you have no ships because you're landlocked. You guys might accept vassalization soon. So, everything is good. You're also allied... Oh, I thought you were allied to Clemson. Never mind. Never mind. So, Mazab. You still want to fight this? Well, I know it would result in your annexation or vassalization, but uh, you don't really have anything to say about this. It's not up to you. Neither one of you have a siege pit. Alright, let's just go to speed 4. Hope we don't get any more disease outbreaks and just sort of chill. All right, supplies sabotaged or shortage? Supply shortage, right? Yeah. Separatists in Titieri. Uh huh. For some reason, Urgla accepted us way before everybody else. They have the lowest cultural acceptance of everything over here. Yeah, that's just their acceptance of themselves. So this doesn't mean anything for me. Uh-huh. How about now? Oh, come on. Dude. Fine, we'll seat you all the way down. Ibadi zealots are about to fire. That's good. We want them to fire. They're going to fire here in Jerba. And we're going to crush them when they do. Okay, so we've seized everything from these guys. Let's go to speed 3 now. And we'll go to Mazab. Take everything and your money. Your 15 ducats. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And then we will take everything from you. Uh -huh. Now, this is my primary culture, so that's good. It's very good. And they will accept vassalization, but I should improve relations with them to maximum. I need 190 for them to accept this. Pum, 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 pum. There we go. And we're still making money. So we do have Togurt Separatists. Inflation impact. We lost that. And we have enough supremacy in this to go ahead and take this one. Maybe we can convert stuff then. That should be fine. We'll make a little bit less money, but we're not really making that much money from trade. Yeah, taxation is double. No, it's more than production and trade put together. Separatists in the Zab. Yep. We'll pay for all of these. Because I do not want to spend admin points coring this. Because it's really, really expensive. Oh. So are you guys going to fire? Could you please fire? There we go. Pay more. And Biskra is over here. Hmm. Aggressive expansion. Pressed issue over borders. 
Don't remember that. Declared war on enemy. Wants my provinces. Well, good luck with that, buddy. But I think we can get them to 190 easily. I have them guaranteed as well. 16%, 12%. What if we just wait here until you hit 90 and then we'll go in? Unhappiness among the clergy. Uh, so I kind of want the prestige. Yeah, give me the prestige. My heir is a navigator. Ship durability goes up. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be fighting anybody on sea for a while. Not unless somebody declares on us. You guys are allied to Granada, right? But re I reckon that uh, Castile is going to declare on them. I could ally Granada. I kind of want the Ottomans as an ally, but they apparently don't want us. Um, Let's ally Granada, and maybe we can stop the Spanish dudes from uh, growing, because I don't want them across here. And if I can persuade them not to declare war on Granada, because I'm also here, that would be nice. But I might just refuse this call to arms if, if it comes, because I don't really want to fight these guys right now. Uh, unless they've like changed the truce breaker penalty, I have no idea. I keep assuming that it's the base game, but it's not. A lot of things might have changed. And Togurt is at 90. Togurt and Ugla. You're gonna get attrition over here. Yeah, you are. Shit, you're gonna get attrition everywhere. Go to Biskra. And if they fire, we'll just have to deal with them. Uh, we could just leave the horses behind, I suppose. 8,000, 7, 8, uh-huh, so the Togurts are going to be 8,000, and the Ibadi are going to be 7,000, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drop you like this, tell you to go here, so these two troops are going to be fine here, so we have 8 troops to match their 8 troops, and then we have 2 calf flanking, that should be enough. Uh, actually, you guys should stay close to Jerba in case uh, I need you. Go to speed 4? Yeah, let's do that. I need something to fire. They're both at 90%. Ooh. Urgla fired. Go ahead and deal with that. And governance efficiency went down to 95%. So now we're getting penalties because we don't have enough governance efficiency. Uh, it's not a huge penalty. It's 2% in, well, a lot of things. But it does give us uh, corruption. That I don't like. But I think by uh, coring Gafsa and Gadames, we can get a bit more. But we can also fix this by accepting cultures. So if we accept a Berber and... What's the other one? It's Berber and... Algerian. If we accept those cultures, we can get our governance efficiency up. And I'm kind of tempted to do that. Uh, but we should probably get a marketplace, shouldn't we? It's going to be an important building, I imagine. Yeah, let's wait. Separatist in Titieri. The mill, yes, we did build one mill. But it seems a lot of our land is not very good for, like, you can only build this. Farmlands, grasslands, woods, or hills. Yeah. Farmlands, farmlands, hills, farmlands, hills. Uh huh. So this area over here is not good. But we do have farmlands, drylands, highlands. We do have some stuff here. So the terrain is quite important. Is there a way to change terrain? That would be interesting. Okay, so they're seeding us down. I'm gonna wait a bit. No! Shit, 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 shit. I was gonna wait for the tick. We took more casualties there than we had to. We took all... Oh yeah, I'm at speed 4. Ah, damn it, I screwed that up. But the unrest should be negative right now. So the conversion should be at... Yeah, 3.9%. Rulership accepted in Gafsa. Yeah. So this is basically, I have not had a single event fire to spend military points suppressing these separatists. But they have the same primary culture as me, so they just accepted us. 
That is cool. And I think my governance efficiency might go up because this is a province in my primary culture. And it's also a part of my state. That's probably why they accepted us as well. Jerba is already a state in my country. So maybe. I don't know exactly which of these factors are true, but I'm going to assume that some of them are true. <laughs> How about that? We're gaining corruption. Oh, boy. I feel like we're spending so much money on this. We're still gaining money, though. Uh, separatists in the Zab, I guess. Separatists in Dacha. We'll do all of these. Dacha. Oh, it's up here. So we got one, none, one, two, nothing. Oh, Titieri accepted us. We had two there. Cool. And it went down to... Oh, it went up to 97.5. So it goes by 2.5% intervals. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, it makes sense. If you have a huge state, then uh, it would be unfair to go by 5%. The goat. Okay, so you got your first one there. You got three. Rulership accepted in Gadamas. Yeah, this is my primary culture. So these ones accepted really, really quickly. Um, I'm tempted just to accept the cultures to see if they will accept us back faster. It's still a hundred diplo power. Um, so there are 40 cores that belongs to this culture. Uh, the amount of development. Oh, never mind. In our state cores that belong to this culture is 40. This is 29. Yeah, but Tunisian is only here on the east side. We have Moroccan and then we have some Berbers in between. And the Algerians are... We have, I think we have all of the Algerian land. Yeah, we have everything that Algier could have. I'm kind of tempted to put Diplo on hold. Just for a while. I kind of want this. I'm going to test this out. Give me both of these. We lost a general. Okay. Okay. Conversion except successful. We can turn this edict off. Inflation impact. We can turn this on. We convert you. And then we have two more provinces to convert down here. So are you guys going to accept me faster because I've accepted you? Maybe. But Biskra did accept us. And they are at 60%. Separatist in Legot. Can you guys just accept me by now? I'm a good guy, honest. Nobles demand old rights. So, loose stability? No. Monthly autonomy change. We're at peace. And at peace, it drops by 0.1. So... Let me take a look at this. Um, peace. Really? Peace is 0.02? And it's also based on cultural acceptance. So if I take this, autonomy is going to increase all over my land. For how long? 10 years? <sighs> if I were to buy stability, overextension number of provinces uh, each level of negative stability uh, fine we'll take the autonomy hit you bastards so yeah it's going up even in my core territories here yeah. what about Orla? it's going up but it's barely going up though so it's fine it's fine so because I accepted a lot of cultures a lot of the unrest should be going away I hope and we got three provinces, and then three provinces. And we're spending a lot of military points here, but um, I'm hoping this is all worth it. Because overextension is not that bad. But I think I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. So we are learning a bit more about this. Killing some separatists, and uh, how exactly the governance efficiency is. I still don't know what governance occupancy is. We'll have to figure that out later. 
but I'm hoping we can try out some of the new techs, some of the new buildings, and see how they change things. But yeah, so, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.